Hey guys, Justin here with Just Tech. Today, I'll be bringing you three of my favorite cases for the Nexus 6P. Now, when it comes to Android cases, I find that a lot of manufacturers sometimes skip a little bit on fit and finish, and so cases that I found work really well for the iPhone tend not to work that well for an Android phone. Um, but I was able to find three that I think are some of your best bets in terms of price and functionality, and so I'll be getting to those just now. Let's get started. So first up, we have a case by Subcase. Now, Subcase makes cases for just about every phone model out there, so chances are if you have a phone from the past few years, they make a case for it. This is the Unicorn Beetle Pro, and the reason I like this for the Nexus 6P is for a few reasons. Um, first of all, it has a nice frosted back. Uh, this doesn't pick up scratches very easily, which is nice, and it also allows your device to shine through. So in this case, I have the carbon model, but I also have a carbon fiber D-brand skin installed, so that allows that to shine through, which is actually really nice. Um, the second thing I like about it is the cutout for the Nexus imprint. Uh, the reason I like this is because it has a nice rounded feature around there. It's not rough um, and it actually sort of slopes in so that your finger actually finds the Nexus imprint a lot easier if it's in your pocket. Um, and the last thing I like is the sides of it. This plastic that they use on the sides is incredibly grippy. Um, it it's just adds to your overall shortness of when you're using your phone. Um, so I really, really like that. And lastly, what I like about it is the buttons. Um, it allows them to be just a little clickier than they normally are, but they're not too sensitive. There have been other cases out there where if you press you know, right here or on the top here, it actually presses the button and that's just not good fit and finish as far as I'm concerned. Um, but here the buttons are nice and clicky. They're not overly clicky, um, which is really nice. Um, if I had to say one con about this case, it would actually be uh, the bulkiness. It is pretty bulky, uh, especially around the corners. You have drop protection and all these corners here. And the reason I, I say that's kind of a downside is because this thing isn't drop rated. There's no military grade drop protection. Um, it seems like just padding for the sake of padding. So something to be aware of. Uh, you can't drop this from six feet because they say you can. They just say it's going to be a protective case and that's really it. But for around 15 bucks, this is probably one of my favorite cases. So if you're interested in picking one up, be sure to hit the link below. I'll have links to all the cases that I talk about today down there in case you want to buy one for yourself. So next up, we have a case by Distronic. Now Distronic, again, like Subcase, makes cases for practically every phone out there these days. Um, they're also nice and cheap, which is really nice. Uh, this is one of their newer ones. This is the uh, Distronic Voyeur, and that's obviously because you can see through the back of it here. Um, and I like this case for a few reasons. First of all, you can see through the back of it. I have that D-brand skin installed so that lets it shine through. I think that's really nice. Um, another thing I like about it is the plastic is the same uh, TPU that they use on all their other cases that don't have the clear backing on it. Um, and it's really grippy. Um, it's really nice. Um, same thing with the buttons as with the subcase. This one has nice clicky tactile buttons. Um, it's not too sensitive so you don't have to worry about pressing you know on either side here um, and worry about hitting a button when you're not supposed to. Um, and it's cheap. This thing is like under 10 bucks usually so I mean you can pick up honestly one or two you know just to have, have around in case it gets beat up or anything like that and you're not going to break the bank. Um, one of the things I will say that I don't like about it, actually two things I'll say I don't like about it, this plastic backing picks up fingerprints incredibly easy. Um, because it's clear, you're not going to find that it's too hard to clean off, so that's I guess sort of a plus, but um, you know, you're going to be using this, you're going to be using your phone throughout the day, you're going to have your hands, you know, back here, um, it's going to pick up fingerprints pretty easily. Um, one of the other things I don't really particularly like about it is the cutout for the Nexus imprint. It's actually pretty small, but it's actually not rounded at all, so it's pretty rough. It's easy to find, but it's a little rough around there, and it just, it's not as nice as the subcase where it's a nice, you know, sort of slope in, um, a nice rounded texture around there. Um, so there's something to keep in mind. And then lastly, it's 10 bucks, so you really can't fault it too much in terms of build quality, but um, they include a plastic sheet over this to keep it protected when it's shipping, but you'll find that there's a noticeable gap in between where the shield comes in and the case actually starts. And there's some pieces of plastic and stuff in there just from where it was built and how it was assembled. So um, something to keep in mind, it's not gonna look like the most professional case in the world, but again, like I said, for 10 bucks or maybe even a little less sometimes, um, you really can't complain as far as that's concerned. Um, again, there'll be a link down below if you're interested in picking up this case. Um, one I definitely highly recommend, one of my favorites as well. And so lastly, I have a third case by Distronic. Um, now this is their sort of standard case. They make this case for pretty much all of them. This is the matte black. Um, it comes in a few different colors, but um, it's basically the Distronic Voyeur just without that plastic, uh, clear plastic on the back. So. 
A um, couple things I like about this case. Um, one is the Nexus imprint. This is nice and rounded. Now why they couldn't do this with the hard plastic on the Distronic Boyer, I'm not sure, but um, it's just a very subtle slope in there. It gives you a nice way to just glide your finger in there to unlock your phone when it's in your pocket. Um, second thing I like about it, uh, the plastic is nice and thick, but not too thick. Um, it adds a bit of grip. Uh, you can definitely pick it up very easily. It's thin without being too thin and thick without being too thick. I think it's the perfect size where that's concerned. Um, another thing I like about it, uh, minimal branding. You only get the Distronic. I'm not sure if you can see it actually here on there, uh, but that's it as far as branding. It's a very kind of generic looking case, which some people actually like and, and I, I like as well. I don't like to brand or I don't like to advertise too much. Um, I'm definitely proud of the cases that I rock. And I like the companies that I buy stuff from, so that's good, but I like when I keep it minimal, you know, that's nice like that. Um, another thing, buttons, as with the Voyeur, same thing, very clicky, um, not overly sensitive, um, which is nice. If I had one negative thing to say about this, it would actually be the plastic picks up fingerprints or the, excuse me, the TPU picks up, picks up fingerprints incredibly easily. Um, and because it's that soft touch kind of feel, it's kind of tough to clean off. You might even need to get like a wet rag sometimes. I've had to just clean it off. So it's gonna pick up fingerprint grease. It's gonna pick up, you know, dirt on your fingers and stuff like that, which is, is kind of a negative. But um, as with the Distronic Voyeur, this one is only around 10 bucks. So again, uh, if you don't like it, you can just go buy another one if you can't get it clean enough. Um, but it's really, really a nice case, really protective. Um, I definitely recommend picking it up. It's 10 bucks. I mean, you really can't go wrong there. So guys, that's it for today's video. Um, again, these are the three cases that I recommend picking up. Um, really in no particular order, we have the Distronic, the Subcase Unicorn Beetle Pro, and the Distronic Voyeur. Um, now again, I'll have links down below where you can pick up any of these cases if you're interested. Um, I highly recommend picking them up. Um, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, what case do you rock for your Nexus 6P if it's not one of these guys? Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video, and of course subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content just like this. I'll see you guys next time here on Just Tech.